There is a nearly endless amount of research that shows the link between high intensity workouts and the feeling of happiness. One program is turning over delighted participants every hour on the hour. This building constantly endures the buzz of a U.S. highway. Open the door and the buzz is a bit stronger. Everyone can do this. So it started out, it started out as military training. And then as, as the program grew and grew, everyone started seeing that, hey, this program actually works. It's functional movements. It's movements that we perform in everyday life. So why, not, why don't we scale these movements down and make this for everyone? The program is called CrossFit, but these participants call it a lifestyle. It's just the way that people work out. You just make it more fun instead of sitting and pushing and pulling on a machine. This isn't your average gym, and this isn't your average Doug. They actually had to put it together, put it back together surgically. They actually had to cut open the side of my leg and, and drive a uh, stainless steel rod through the hip down into the leg and then wrap that. Doug was 20 years old when he was struck by a moving vehicle, breaking both of his legs. Uh, I was in the cast for another two months after I got released from the hospital and then about a year after the accident I, I went back in and had surgery to take the uh, steel rod out of my leg. He has since developed painful arthritis in his knee, but the exercises in the CrossFit program are just the medicine his aching joints need. Man, my knee feels fantastic compared to what it's been for the last two, three years. A CrossFit, CrossFit is going to kill me, and that's not the way it is. It, it's not. We're, we're all about form, technique, getting better every day, and being healthier in life overall. Whatever your age, CrossFit can keep your past from catching up with you or create a healthier future. Outside of its local boxes, CrossFit has developed an international competition called the CrossFit Games. Qualified athletes compete to determine who is the, quote, fittest on earth. Now the answer to this week's Studio One Sports Trivia question, who is the first professional athlete to get paid to endorse a product? Your answer is D, Mr. Wagner. That was in 1905 he endorsed the Louisville Slugger.